Shalom Lekulam and welcome to day number 45 on the count of the Omer. Today we're meditating on the Sefirot Tifaret de Mahut, Tifaret within Mahut, the harmony of dignity, harmony within Mahut. To balance the field of action we have to make sure that we have balanced our emotions. We have to find strength in these things that we have more knowledge. For example, if you're a person that have a lot of knowledge in certain field of science, math, of business, you have to make sure that you find the forces there and because that's your lab laboratory that's where you're going to you're going to be experimenting everything that you learn if you are a person that have also knowledge spiritual knowledge you need to find the strength in that knowledge as well and use it and when you have this knowledge, spiritual knowledge, and the knowledge that you're using in order to make a living, you need to create harmony between the two, and you need to learn how to apply it within what is called a group setting. This can be a family setting, society, or, or the job that you are actually uh, doing. And for most of us, the laboratory is the job place, right? Where we work with other people and where we have certain relationships. They might not be called friendships, right? Because they're co-workers. But still, these are human beings that we're supposed to connect. And this is where our work starts. Not only at work, right? Or on a regular work, but also, let's say, if you're a person that goes to certain social... Um, clubs or uh, agencies that help the needy or if you go to a temple or something like that there's people there are groups of people and you need to learn to work together with them and understand the harmony within the dignity meaning that you have to stimulate your environment in order to grow and the only way that you can grow within this environment that you are practicing what you know is by knowing that everybody has a purpose you cannot have any harmony within the mahout within the kingdom of yourself if you think that you are going to be the one that is going to be in charge of everything if you think you're going to be the one that is going to be the center of attention that's not living in harmony that comes from the side of lacking you're lacking right so from that side of the lack of light comes this kind of desire to be the center of attention attention be this the the person that wants to control everything we need to learn that we have to be soft in our relationships even though we have mentioned before we have to put limits we have to be um aware that we cannot, we cannot lose our dignity but softness softness in a, in a relationship helps to bring harmony harmony within ourselves and harmony with others but you cannot think of this softness as weakness you have to understand that this softness is a softness that cannot let you lose energy but it's a softness that is based in equilibrium, in correction. It's based on the proper use of the light and the force that the Creator has given you. You have to understand that you have to be soft and recognize that being aggressive within a group setting, it's contrary to the harmony is contrary to be using the 
force and the light that the Creator has given us. The person that wants to control more and more is the person that loses more and more power. The real power comes from the harmony and equilibrium. We have to understand that other people need to have their own dignity and that they need to also use their environment to achieve their own objectives. And when we understand that, that other have objectives, other have missions within the group and everything, we put all these together and you can see that all of them are parts of a puzzle. Everybody's a little piece of the puzzle that when you put them together, give us the bigger picture. These objectives of all the other people, when we're looking from the side of harmony within dignity, somehow becomes then my own objectives. So my objective is to achieve my objective, but also to help them achieve theirs without interfering or without forcing them. I have to find a way that my personality is compatible with theirs. Even if they don't like me or I don't like them, in that case, something different, right? But we need to understand and try that people are going to be different. And even if they are in that position that they don't like us or anything like that, it's because there's a reason for it. We need to look internally to see what we're seeing outside. So we need to try to eliminate any conflicts that will deviate the energies that are going to transform our environment and our relationships. We need to make sure that we find this harmony through dignity, that we're soft even when they're hard to us, but without compromising who we are. Softness brings equilibrium. But being soft does not mean that we are weak. We can be strong, we can set limits, and still be people that bring harmony within a group of people. With this in mind, let's start the meditation on Tiferet the Mahut. <laughs> 